Tonight, park and pay problem along the streets of Ann Arbor. People using an app called ePark are returning to their vehicles to find an expensive surprise. With ePark on your phone, you park, pay, and you're on your way and keep track of meter time with alerts. But there's a glitch on the law enforcement end of that technology. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell talks with one man who returned to find a hefty fine. Paying for a parking spot using an app is easy and convenient. Apps like ePark. However, some folks who say they've used the app say they've received tickets. Not only is it frustrating, but now they want the city of Ann Arbor to step in. It paid for two hours. Unfortunately, an hour later, I got a ticket. Brian Craig says he tried using a parking app called ePark for the first time after it was recommended by a friend. Ann Arbor started using it about two years ago, mm -hmm. and um, everyone I know has been bitten by it already. He says it's quick and easy, but a recent experience on December 3rd has him thinking twice. Here, my app shows that I paid for two hours, and yet 40 minutes later, I get a ticket. Brian, who's a relative of an employee here at Channel 7, tells us after he got the ticket, he went to try and fix the issue, only to be told. This has happened before, hasn't it? And she nodded, yes, it has. And I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm guilty until proven innocent. There's been issues in Lansing, Detroit, and now Ann Arbor. Attorney Sean Godwin says when fighting any kind of ticket, it's best to have proof you paid. I think the app is still the best way to pay because you have a record of the times you paid for, and that's going to provide you documentation to provide the city to fight any ticket you get. We reached out to the city of Ann Arbor for comment but haven't heard back. Brian says from now on he's just going to go old school and play it safe and has a message for the city of Ann Arbor. They shouldn't issue any more tickets until they fix the machines. Again, we've tried reaching out to the city of Ann Arbor multiple times but haven't heard back. I've also spoke to a lot of folks who do use the app. They say, yeah, it's been great. Other folks say they've also had trouble in the past. Reporting in Ann Arbor, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. Alan, thank you.